All right, here we go. Good job. Oh, come on, do better. Nice. Oh, you got this. Ah. Come on. Okay, here comes a double. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. This is part three of our orange liqueur comparison video. Today we are making sidecars. We've done margaritas, we've done Mai Tais. Now we're taking the same four orange liqueurs and we're making sidecars. So for a sidecar, obviously we're also gonna need some cognac. I'm using Courvoisier and we have some lemon juice. Super easy drink, three ingredients. Cognac, lemon, orange liqueur. All right, so we need four mixing glasses. We're gonna start with our Courvoisier Cognac, and we're gonna pour two ounces into each of our glasses. Yeah, we're making <laughs> lots of boozy drinks today. Use any uh, Cognac you want for sidecars. This is my favorite, Courvoisier. Uh, you can even use, you know, brandy. Um, I've even heard people making sidecars with bourbon. So, yeah, try it out. Also want to mention that we're doing a 2-1-1 ratio today, but um, a lot of people like to lower the lemon juice, lower and um, some people find it too tart. I like the 2 one, one I like this. This is actually a really tart drink and I like it that way, but find the ratio that works for you. So one ounce of lemon juice into each glass. But if you want to do half an ounce, three quarter ounce, go ahead and do that. All right, and last ingredient, that's like I said, it's a simple three ingredient cocktail, is our orange liqueur. So we're gonna go um, start off with our triple sec. So this is probably gonna give us the sweeter of the drinks because triple sec has a lower, or sorry, a higher sugar content, or so lower ABV. Second up, we've got our Cointreau, which is a premium triple sec, uh, but it's 40% alcohol, so it's higher, it's drier, but it's got a, a better, uh, orange flavor. After that, we've got our Pierre Ferrand uh, Dry Curacao. This is a cognac base, so that's why it's darker in color, but it's basically cognac with orange flavors. And then lastly, our Grand Marnier, the most expensive of the orange liqueurs. Um, this is also a cognac based um, orange liqueur. This stuff is amazing. I think it won um, for margaritas, well for me anyways, <laughs> for margaritas, and I think it was probably my second favorite for Mai Tais. Um, all right, we're gonna fill with ice. Make sure to check out those videos, guys. I've got, we did the same experiment with uh, margaritas and with Mai Tais. All right, double flipping move. All right, so we're gonna shake these one at a time. I'm gonna do that off screen because you just don't wanna see me shake for hours. We're serving these in these kind of fancy Nicanora glasses here. They've been chilling, um, and we're gonna give it a sugar rim because there's no added sugar to these cocktails, so a nice sugar rim is beneficial. Now, I I um, pre-chill my glasses so that condensation allows the sugar to stick perfectly, but if you didn't do that, you can use a lemon wedge and just rub the rim and then dip it in sugar. It's plain white caster sugar. All right. Pour our drinks in. Double straining to make sure we get no ice chips. I want these nice and smooth. The hardest part of making these experiment videos is not mixing up the uh, the tins and forgetting which drink has which liqueur. Okay, looking good. Look at that. Okay, uh, lastly, for our garnish, we're just gonna do a nice long peel of orange, express some oils, and just slip it in the glass. I'm gonna do that to the remaining three cocktails. There we go. Look at that. We've got four awesome sidecar cocktails. Let's get right on to tasting. And those, those look so nice. I love those glasses. That's how I pretty much always serve my sidecar in these glasses. I just found these at a thrift store. They're amazing. Okay, let's start tasting. Triple sec, up first. Um, oh, that's delicious. It's still very tart. Uh, but a little sweeter than I'm used to. But honestly, I've, the only one I've ever tried is with Cointreau, so this is all new for me. But uh, that was delicious. So there we go, here's the one I'm familiar with, Cointreau. Oh, absolutely delicious. Very tart, um, 
very citrusy, but the cognac really uh, shines through as well. And it's very fresh, very bright, very fresh. And uh, just that, that little sugar rim is all you need. Um, if you're not really into to, um, dry drinks though, this is probably not the drink for you. Some people add a little bit of simple syrup when they make sidecars, I don't. Um, okay, on to the darker uh, cognac-based liqueurs. This is the dry curacao. Okay, it's still good. There's nothing wrong with that. It's delicious. Um, I will say that because it's so heavy on the cognac, I mean, remember, we got two ounces of Courvoisier in here, then we're adding a cognac-based um, orange liqueur. It's it's almost too heavy, and it it kind of um, kind of mellows out that nice citrusy um, brightness that I like. And I'm expecting probably the same from the Grand Marnier. Yeah, I mean, again, it's good. All of these are good, but it's it's almost yeah. The the cognac is overpowering, and it mellows down that bright citrus freshness that the uh, orange and the and the lemon give it. All right, let's rate these. Um, number one, I mean, I gotta stick with my gut here. I gotta stick with the original. Cointreau is the way to go for this one. It's dry. It's uh, it's fresh. It's delicious. Um, after that, number two, surprisingly, I'm going to give it to the um, yeah the triple sec. You know, it's it's very similar to the Cointreau. It's got that little added sweetness, which is not a bad thing, um, and it's cheaper. So yeah, definitely the triple sec sidecar was very good. Um, number three, I'm gonna give it to the Curacao. Actually, uh, I'm I wasn't a fan of the the last two. There was too much too much cognac in it. It was too it was too rich, and it mellowed out that freshness. And in fourth place, I'm sorry, but Grand Marnier. That's so. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Grand Marnier is usually my favorite, but in a sidecar, nah, it didn't work for me. Well, that's it, guys. Um, there we go. Now. What I'm gonna do here, cause I'm not gonna drink all of these. So I'm gonna take my favorite, the Cointreau. I'm gonna drink that. And then we're gonna take these last three and let's clarify them. See what that, see what that does. So I'm gonna get a jug here. I'm gonna add two ounces of milk. This is 2%, use whole milk, use, I don't think anyone will work, but I tend to use 2% or whole. And I'm gonna dump my uh, drinks in there and it's gonna create some gross curds. Look at that, it looks disgusting. But we're gonna pour that through a coffee filter. And then that's just gonna sit for, this took almost an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. And that's slowly dripping through and those curds form a nice uh, extra filter layer filtration. And it's gonna filter it and clarify the drink. We're gonna pour that into a rocks glass over a nice big rock of ice. Look at that. I, always li I like to serve clarified drinks with a uh, clear ice. It just looks nicer. Give it a nice stir. And because this is uh, looks quite elegant, we're going to garnish it with a a cleaned up peel of orange. So for the sidecars, I didn't really clean the peel, but for this one, why not? Little, come on, where are you? There it is. <laughs> nice. Look at that clarified sidecar cocktail. I love making these videos. What should we do next? So we've done sidecar, mai tai, margarita. What other orange liqueur videos could we? put to the test next, maybe a Cosmo. Let us know in the comments below, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.